boy, we got a good one today. Chef and owner Pete Tricolis is here from Anchor Pete's Spinacopita. That's what we're making. It's our roadie deal of the day. You can get a $50 gift certificate for only $25 and go have some delicious, delicious food. That's what we're going to make today. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Great to, uh, great to have you here because I was looking at some of the food that you make. Well, I know what you're going to to have. I said lunch is already served for us. What do we need to put together this, uh, this Spinacopita? Okay, to make the best Spinacopita. That's what we want. We want the, the best. best. I don't want like any middle of the road no. stuff. No, no, okay. You need spinach, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'd go with four cups of spinach. You need feta, uh, equivalent to two cups of feta. Regatta cheese, cottage cheese, all about one cup. You need a little bit of flour. You need the dill, four eggs, a uh, pound of butter, and you need your scallions. And well, that's it. That's it. That's it. And then you and have the to filo, work with, and, and the filo dough. Yeah. Um, for anyone who's looking at this and saying, all right, I'm cool with that, how do I work with this? Well, it's easy. You got to melt the butter first. And then uh, once the butter is melted, you just brush every sheet. I'll, uh, I'll show you step by step sure. how we do it. We brush every sheet. And then uh, you put about nine sheets across. So then you fill it with everything here, you mix everything together, the spinach, the regatta, the cottage, and then you put another nine sheets on the top, very easy to make, okay. then you stick it right in the oven. Right, and it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Now you also have some other things here that we're going to show you as well, some uh, some stuffed peppers, oh, and just baklava, baklava, that, you, baklava that you brought to, really, really good. Yeah. Go online right now. RodyDeals.com is the uh, is the website, and you can get a fifty dollars gift certificate for only twenty five bucks, and go check out some great great food. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen with our Roadie Deal of the Day. It's a fifty dollars gift certificate for just twenty five bucks. Find it at RodyDeals.com. Chef and owner Pete is here from Anchor Pete's, and we are making spanakopita. Uh, I know, I know. Um, a lot of people call them like spinach pies. Yeah. Um, I, whatever you call them, they're delicious. Yeah. And I know you said we're making the best with the recipe that it's you have today. Simply the best, yeah. How do we make the filling? Okay, I'm gonna guide you through it. We get the spinach. Okay, right? all of this. Store right? it all in there. Okay. Yep. Did you have to kind of drain it out? Yeah, Just drain it out. Bring it out a little it. bit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Next, you get your uh, feta cheese, which I have already shredded it for mm -hmm. you. Yep. Store it right in there. I would add a little more. All know. right, we're gonna go right from the block. Go, then. Yeah. Here we go. Just crumble it. Yeah. Crumble there you go. Crumble it up. Nice. And you let me know when, as I throw most of it on the floor <laughs> and the counter. But that's cooking, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, a little more. All right. You might have to use this whole block. <laughs> okay, that's I'm gonna good. I'm just going to keep going. That's yeah. good? Yeah, that's good for okay. right now. Yeah, save it towards the end. <laughs> uh, put a little bit of that regatta. You could add, just throw it all the in there. Okay. Yeah, throw the whole You've in already kind of pre-measured yep. that for us. Beautiful. Okay, then you got your cottage cheese right there. Mm -hmm. Throw it all in there. And that's what makes it this medley of cheeses, right? Mm -hmm. All the different mm -hmm. textures. Of course. Then you got your dill. Which we were talking about these bowls. I had these exact bowls growing up. It's so funny. That's, I got it from my, my parents that have collections of those bowls. Well, I guess they were made in Central Falls. That's what's what so good is that, you know, the, you, the, you pass them down just like these recipes. Right. Did your mom make this? Yes. Growing up? Yeah. Oh, how awesome. Yep. And then you get your scallions. Okay. Get a big bowl for this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> then you get your four eggs. Okay. Just crack them right in there. All right. We're going to go for it. Yep. I'm going one handed. Oh, and throwing shell in there, too. Don't yell at me, chef. Yep. I don't think you would. Here we Three. go. And All four. All right. And then you get. You got it. Getting shell in there. I don't uh. want to wreck the recipe. <laughs> Your mom would not be happy. I would take that salt and pepper and just dump it right in there. Okay. Oh, all that you yeah. have here. Okay. Yep. Salt. Pepper. Pepper. Okay. That's good. And a little bit of that olive oil. Just like half of it. Just to make it. Right there. All right. And then I would just start mixing it. Okay. Get those muscles going. <laughs> we are going to mix this up. We have our filling ready for our spanakopita. Can I go in there with my hands? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, okay, that's, good. That's, that's, that's what I'm going for. I feel like that's the best, <laughs> that's, that's uh, best the approach best, yeah. here. We will finish this up and show you how to approach that filo dough, too, in just a little bit. Stick around. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, Anchor Pete's is here. Chef and owner Pete Tukillis is here. Joins us making spanakopita. Mm. Uh, $50 gift certificate for only $25 bucks if you go to roadiedeals.com right now. We have the spinach. We have the cheese in it. Right. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter. I mean, sorry, olive oil in the butter just to mix it all together. Huh. That's the key. Really and then I just that. grab. What I always want to do is I would, like um, brush down the pan a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just so nothing sticks or it yes, doesn't break apart sticks, too, right? Right, right. So just brush the whole pan down. 
and you need the large quantity of butter because you need it on every layer. Every layer, right. So you take phyllo, the sheet, right, and I always brush it down a little bit, try to get the corners mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it all sticks here. This is the hard, hard, hard part. Yeah, to really come. Yeah. I'll help you separate some, <laughs> Chef. Here, we'll get some teamwork going on there here. Go. Also, That's I know awesome. the lights in here don't help sometimes, too. It kind of dries it out a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to put this over here. Yep. Yeah. Get this up there for you. Yeah. This is a great recipe, though, to make with your family. Oh, or yeah. Or pass down, like you said, but you got it from your mom. Oh. Yeah. That's a good cook. Is oh, that what yeah. you learned to cook just, just in the kitchen with mom? Just yeah, kind of my up mom and my did? grandmother. Yeah, mm. and my grandmother. She done. Uh, she had a lot of vegetarian dishes that I, I really want to stop doing at the anchor because there's a lot of uh, a whole trend now of like you know vegans sure. and you know. Lot, yeah, a lot of people trying to go yeah, in that direction. Right. Yeah. Even if they're not fully vegan, they're maybe trying to just incorporate maybe a vegetarian meal right. into their diet a couple yep. times a week. So you really do, you do a bunch of layer, or layers of this yeah. to hold up so that you have a good crust on it. Yeah, good crust you want on, that crust, right. layer on it. Right. That's good. All right, now tell us about the restaurant, too, because I know you've only been open for, for a short time, yep, too, A couple right? months, yep. A couple months? We, uh, we do a lot of seafood. You know, our, our most popular dish is uh, salmon with, uh, we do like a Greek-style risotto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's, oh, that sounds so that, good. And then we do like a shrimp-style uh, Greek -style risotto, too. Oh, that's nice. our mo the two most popular dishes. Yep. And then uh, everyone loves the spanakopita and the stuffed peppers. Like, mm -hmm. we must sell a, a, a tray of spanakopita <laughs> a day. <laughs> yeah. You brought some stuffed peppers yeah. along with you and some baklava, too. So tell yes. us about those. Stuffed peppers is, uh, we use Angus beef and then we use uh, rice. Mm -hmm. Uh, you put a little bit of oregano. Um, you could add a little bit of spinach you want, if you want in there. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, rice. Yep. And that's pretty much it. You just uh, clean out the peppers. Yep. Fill it. And then uh, it takes about an hour to bake at 350. Beautiful. Okay. Really, really simple. Right. So sure. now we put about eight sheets down. Okay. Right. And I'm just going to take the spinach. And just kind of stack it in there and yeah. spread it out? Spread it right out. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to There's only one. Here. No, yeah. unlike something like a lasagna when you're mm -hmm. making there's only one layer of this spinach going in, right? So it can be yeah. thicker? J okay. Yeah. You, yep. We just put one layer in and then uh, mm -hmm. kind of spread this no, oh, sure spread it it around. It's so sure. good. Yeah. It does smell good. Okay. Yep. That I can add a little more. Actually, yeah, I'm, just just gonna, I'm just going to take yeah, the rest of it. Just, you know yeah. what? Just we'll put it all. <laughs> just put it all in there. Leave none to waste. All <laughs> grab all of this. Okay. okay. So you you get that in there now. What we want to do is just yep. fold it, like you know, fold mm -hmm. fold it down. That's, you got to be really careful. That'll help the edge. Maybe they don't, yep. they don't burn. Hold that yeah. Yeah. Not hanging together. Around yep. the outside. Okay. And I keep, love the butter glue. Yeah. yeah, keep buttering. And where is the, where is the, uh, the restaurant, Pete? It's 515 Kingston Road in Wakefield. It used to be um, the old Cello's, Roadie oh, Joe's. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Spoken made. like a true Rhode Islander. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be exactly. this. I know exactly yeah. what it is. Now, we would layer this up yep. with more layers. Right. We're, we're going to actually put that on hold. So, so we're going to make sure we have time to see the finished product. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get this out of the way. How okay. we're going in the oven. Can we see that? Absolutely. You want to grab it right out? Sure, yeah. Okay. Take that out. See, this looks so good. Look at how great this looks. Oh, a nice crispy golden brown. How how long did that have to cook for? Uh, one hour at 350. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then how do we slice it up? Just like that? Uh, just squares? Well, before I, yeah, I, I usually cut it before I uh, I throw it in the oven, but if you... um. Oh, that's a good tip. So score it a bit yeah, before. Yeah, so you know how to so cut it. So it makes it easy to break apart. Yep. And this, it is our roadie deal of the day, so if you haven't yet, get online right now. $50 gift certificate for only mm. 25 bucks, and you can get some... some Great spin of coconut like this. Yeah, or baklava or, or stuff baklava peppers, or any of the there. stuff that Pete brought oh, along wow. with him. And family recipes too. So yep, you're gonna all taste family that. homemade meals. Yeah. Oh, right, you know, I'm gonna grab my a, goodness. Grab a plate. All right, I'm gonna eat it like a sandwich. <laughs> go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a big bite of this. If you want the recipe, go to roadshow.com. <laughs> mm.